you know, how do you think we'll be able to get men kind of back? Um, I don't want to say in position of power, but a position of self power. You know, where we're back at a, a balance. I feel like the the, the scales have tipped, mm-hmm. and you know, I think women are better at executive jobs and offices. I will say this right away, and I have evidence from this. Back when I started 11 years ago as an agent, I think the market was like 50-50. Now my industry, and we're talking about health insurance, is dominated by women. The directors are women. The administrators are women. The doctors are women. The nurses are women. The agents are women. The salespeople are women. I mean, we're talking about like my company at least, and I think we're like 80% plus women. Wow. So... You know, I think just right away with that, I can so your say anything I want. Well. Right? Yeah. You're telling me your company's <laughs> doing amazing. It's doing good. And, and and women are really dominant. And I think it's because they have something to prove more than anything. And when we're in a field where it's more accommodating for them, oh, they'll kill us. They're smarter. So in, in, especially in that emotional sense, especially in that, you know, getting things done stuff. They carry a lot of wisdom. They always approach things in a different way, ways, you know, that we, we don't see for some reason. <laughs> so then I go back to how do we fix it so men can start feeling and empower themselves again? How do, how do we go about fixing that? Great question. We start, we have to start believing in ourselves more, man. Um, let's start off from that. Um, we have to support each other more. And do these things, what we're doing right now, just being vulnerable, you know, not being afraid, afraid of being vulnerable. There's nothing wrong with that. That's how you make connections. That's what makes us humans, you know. Mm -hmm. And I feel that if us as men, uh, we supported each other a little bit more, we would start to heal. We, you know, men will start the healing journey if, if we support each other more. Stop, you know, making fun of each other or or judging each other and just let's just respect, you know, our points of views. Um, and yeah. Well, number one, I congratulate you. And number two, I um, give you good luck because <laughs> at the current state of affairs and everything's going, it just it, it seems not an impossibility. Um but a really, really big mountain. You know, it feels like to get there, you know, it's going to take something we can all stand behind. And that's that's like, that's like what I kind of feel like we don't have right now. Like, who do we fall in line? Yeah. You know, because just, when we're constantly bickering and we're disagreeing, yeah. usually something or someone can get us, you know, into that common ground. Like, where do we start that common ground? Yeah. It's just that I feel there's a lot of distractions nowadays. And... I feel, for example, like this is what I used to do, you know, like uh, I used to think that meditation, you know, was that it didn't work. Okay. I've, I've tried it. To me, it just, I see too many dark things and I'm like, you know what, man, I'm, I'm done here. <laughs> you cried. <laughs> yeah. And then and, and that was me too, you know. Um, same thing with journaling, you know, just writing whatever you want to write. You know, there's no one reading those words but yourself. Well, from one man to another, I'll pick him up. That's what I'm here to do. Help <laughs> yeah. him out. Pick a brother up. No, I, I think I think the biggest thing with journaling, I, I've never tried it, um, but I think obviously the purpose is to be able to face ourselves truly every day. And like I said, I mean, I have a hard time with that because, you know, I, I did go through a bunch of stuff growing up, the bullying, not having friends, you know, kind of moving everywhere, you know. You never reestablish everything. So every time I have to face that guy, I'd rather just, you know, run 15 miles, mm-hmm. work out for three hours, yeah. you know, do MMA fight. Yeah. Um, then, then to really get myself in that deep and, and then, I don't know, for me, I start questioning myself too much. And so I kind of drop back into a little turtle, yeah. you know. Yeah. Where I'm like, you know, I'm okay here. I know I know how to do this stuff. You know, I'd rather, I'd rather have somebody punch me in the face than to face you know, that guy, yeah. that guy in the dark, yeah. you know. Yeah. And, you know, that's why, so that's why I'm, I'm glad you're, you know. Yeah. I remember what I was trying to say. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Um, go ahead. No, no, yeah, that I used to like play video games and stuff like that. You know, um, things that. um Guys, we do not give drugs or alcohol here. Okay. We're a clean, <laughs> we're a clean production. I swear. I swear. I swear. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just uh, too many video games and too many, too much distractions, in my opinion. And um, and um, like I like I was saying earlier, they don't teach us to do these things. You know, the things that we're supposed to do, we don't. It's as if um, you know, whenever someone talks about meditation, they're like, "Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that shit. I don't want to do it. I don't feel like no. it." Or you know, or doing something that you know deep down that's gonna make you better. But still, you know, still we don't do it because I, I think it's more identity as a nation. And I really do think that we don't have a clear identity. You know, we're all, all over the freaking place. And so how do you expect for our kids to learn the right things if we don't know what the hell we should be teaching or learning? You know, so I, I kind of go back to the I want to say I, I don't want to get this wrong, uh, but during Kennedy's um presidency i don't know if it was in the 70s 60s i want to be right um but if you look at this the guidelines for schools you know as far as exercising testing uh you know it was stringent you know both men and women were in extreme shape you had to do real exercise you had to get real scores and you know i feel like when you start doing that yeah the 60s okay when you start doing it, you you develop an identity. Mm -hmm. You develop mm -hmm. this this confidence. You know, right now we have so much access, like you said, not only to video games. People are addicted to porn left and right. Mm -hmm. And I feel like all these men who have lost their purpose mm -hmm. are turning to that because it's mm -hmm. a, it's a quick hit. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. okay, I feel better. You know, yep. for a couple for a couple yep. minutes. Yep. But then that monkey's gonna get right back in your uh, back. Exactly. And you're gonna feel like crap. Yep. You know, again because you don't have purpose. I've been there. It doesn't help. You know. Man, I'm I, okay. I'll be honest, guys. I'm trying to. Okay, I'm, I, I, self help. This is a real thing. Yeah, I know, of course. Thank you, you for know, sharing. Men, men are real, um, yeah. and it's a real thing. Uh, it's even, not easy. Even it's not if easy. You have a wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Uh, I used but to... I, I think is that, and for me, I, more than anything, I think it's part of the Cuban culture. Mm. You know, Cuban men. You know, like we're taught to be oh yeah. hey well so yeah, you know, of course. So that. Like it's that culture of you gotta be like you have to have a girl, so you know, that's that's that culture. You know, and I, I think it leads to that that behavior of, you know, being addicted to porn, um, you know, doing debaucherous things, you know, pulling up, you know, with a handicap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that, that did make me laugh, man. The and I know the true fingers. Huh? The true fingers, you know? No, this guy's off to something else. <laughs> That's I know this is it's a tough topic. I know, you know, but music too, man. I feel I feel the music it's it's gotten out of hand, man. Um, all these songs sexualizing women as if, you know, they're just a piece of, you know, carne, you know. Meat, you know. But it's because people are not are, are not calling on their their stuff number one, and number two, they keep consuming the stuff because if you justify something even if it's wrong with money and merit you're gonna have people replicate it mm -hmm. 